have no fear, Batman and Robin are on the case. That's right, we're gonna solve the mystery. Now tell me, officer, what do you got for me? Well, it looks like a safe was stolen from the bank way up there. It looks like whoever stole the safe must have dragged it a long time with some sort of truck. Ugh, don't worry. This looks like a job from some sort of mastermind. Probably one of my kind. Come on, Robin, let's catch the supervillain. Oh boy, we're going to catch a supervillain. Whee! Whoa, that must be the truck that they stole and here's the safe. Officer, is everything all right? What do we need to know to catch these thieves? Well, shoot, you boys came out here for nothing tonight. We already caught the two thieves. Well, tell me, what mastermind did this? Was it the Joker? <laughs> or maybe it was the Riddler. <laughs> was it the Penguin? <laughs> It could have been Mr. Freeze. I will destroy Gotham. Or was it that cat burglar Catwoman herself? Well, actually, Batman, it was none of them. It was just this punk kid. A kid? Yeah, goes by the name of El Bardo. But we got him, though, so nothing to be concerned about. Hey, kid, what's the big idea? And why are you dressed like that? Hey, don't I have a cow, man? A cow? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it looks like we got this wrapped up, so you two can just go on home now. Well, hey, Bart, here's that squishy you wanted. Hey, what's going on here? What happened? Uh. Uh, Millhouse, I may have robbed a bank. Robbed the bank? Oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna be in so much trouble. My parents are gonna be so upset. Oh, I am so confused. What in Gotham City is going on right here? All right, Millhouse, stop crying. Just throw that squishy at the ground. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, my eyes. Oh, I can't even see what was in there. That was just a simple everyday squishy. Kids drink him all the time. Nice job, Millhouse. Let's go. Hurry up. They're going to catch us. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, little kids. Uh, what is going on here? No, uh, no, I'm still burning. Uh, uh, these are no ordinary kids. They must have a very sophisticated background and a terrific upbringing, including probably intelligent parents. Come on. Robin, they've got to be around here somewhere. This is the only underground arcade in town. Hey man, look, I, I, I see him. He's up there. Uh, come on, get that guy. Come on, uh, almost there. Come on, get him. Uh, all right, this ends here. Excuse me, young man. Come on down here. If you cooperate, I'll just take you home to your parents. Okay, okay, I'm here. Don't hurt me, Batman guy. I don't want to get in trouble with my parents. Oh boy, are you a crier. Now it's your turn. Come on down. Wait a minute. I'm almost done with this game. Ugh. Don't make me have Robin come up there and get you. Yeah, don't have me come up there and get you. Wait, what? Ah, nuts. Game over. All right, fine. I'm coming down. Huh. Ah! Ugh, that's twice that he's now knocked me over. Huh. All right, young man. I'm taking you home. I've got to meet your parents. They must have given you your very sophisticated training. Wait a minute, Batman. Where are you going? Huh? Don't leave me here with the weird kid. Yeah, he called me weird. Yeah! Uh-oh. Marge, did you order a Batmobile online? Good evening, my name is Batman, returning your son home. Did you know that he was involved in a bank robbery tonight? Now Bart, what did I tell you about Robin Banks? So you must be the sophisticated intelligent man training your son. I don't know, I could be. Did you bring me a pink donut? Oh, we gotta go, it's time for our date. Hey, hey, that's my Batmobile! Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Bat, sir. I always run into things when I drive. Yeah, Homer's not too bright. Oh, if that guy was the one responsible for your training, I really gotta evaluate my superhero skills. Hey, thanks for watching. Now, the toys featured in this video are the Legos. This is series two of the Blind Bag Simpsons minifigures, and we are gonna check some of them out today. So our first one that we are gonna check out here, let me just cut this open. 
There we go. Let's see who this is. And it is, oh, this is the comic book store guy. Now I don't remember his name, but I don't even know if he has a name or if he's just always known as the comic book store guy, but he's the, the guy that owns the comic book store and he's always making snide remarks of people who don't know their, their comic book trivia. So of course he's gonna have a comic book in his hand and this is awesome. He's got a little, I think this has gotta be a squishy from the Quickie Mart. So let's look at this right here. So he's got um, a comic book of something called Every Man, which is super funny and, and uh, I think they're just making fun of the fact that you know you have a Superman or, or superhero for everything so he's the Every Man and it looks like a comic book. So look at the squishy. This is cool. Look, it's got a translucent loose in top. It looks exactly like a Slurpee. So I think they're making fun of with the squishy. And then you can see that he's got like this uh, little ponytail right here. He puts maybe in a bun. He's got some uh, a beard right there and everything. So these are specialized head that the Simpsons give. And then the bodies are pretty uh, are pretty regular. Of course, his uh, his stomach is sticking out. <laughs> because he's supposed to be really big, but it's tough to make somebody really big um, in the Simpson or in a, in a minifigure style. So this is awesome. Okay, so our first guy is down. We have comic book store guy. So with this series, we have one down, 15 more to go, it looks like. And there are tons you can collect. Some of them are specialized, like we have the Bart in the Batman suit, Millhouse is dressed as superhero, Marge and Homer dressed up like a date night. We've got Lisa and Maggie is something, then we have a couple of other characters. So here's the guy down, we've got 15 more to go. Now blind bag number two, what do we have here? And oh, look at that, it is Bart the superhero. There's not too many pieces here. So here we have our, his little shorts, and of course his shoes and everything, and the legs. Then we have his shirt, and this is his regular shirt. So he's not dressed that much, it's not like a purple shirt or anything. This is cool, he's given a cape. Love the capes, even though they are hard to put on mostly. But I've gotten used to them because I've done a lot of Batman ones lately. And then we have the head. Now the cape, by the way, is, it's like this uh, cloth, feels like paper, but it's a little bit thicker than paper. It's a, it's a cloth, so he's got a cape. And then of course he has his Batman little, uh, little mask on here. And I'm thinking, it's probably not Batman, but I'm thinking because he's got like spikes all over. This is just his hair or whatever, but this is just the mask over. And then look what they give him that he can put in his hand, a little accessory. This is his slingshot. Now he hasn't had a slingshot for, for most of the last like 12 seasons, but at the very beginning he always had a slingshot because that represented getting into mischief and trouble. So it's cool that they give him one here. This guy looks awesome. Now we've got number three. Let's check out who it is and oh, look who it is. It is Dr. Hibbert, the main doctor, pediatrician, doctor, whatever for the Simpsons. So here we go with the Dr. Pants right there. You can see that he's wearing, it's kind of like grayish, maybe he's wearing like some type of apron. So there are the Dr. Pants. Then we've got the front piece here. I think this one's pretty simple. So he's got his uh, stethoscope right there. Of course he's wearing a tie and probably a nice shirt underneath his doctor's uh, lab coat there, a green tie. I don't know if it's green. You know, I've never, although I've seen tons of Simpsons episodes. And there we go, here is the specialized head. Really like this head, looks awesome. The Dr. Hibbert always laughs, especially when he's delivering bad news. He laughs at very inappropriate times. Um, but this is a cool specialized head. So here we have Dr. Hibbert, and then one other thing. It's cool that they give each each person a uh, some sort of additional piece accessory. And look at that, he has, this is home, he, this is a, uh, an x-ray of Homer's head. Look at that, you can see his brain, you can see his tongue and everything like that, so he's probably doing some work on Homer. This is a really cool figure. And our next one is, let's see who we have, oh! 
Miss Krabappel. This is Bart's teacher from school. Now this is cool. Miss Krabappel is, is an interesting character throughout the series. She's Bart's teacher, of course. She does not like Bart, always putting him in detention. So here is the legs portion here. Oh, and then we have to put a skirt on. These skirts are always very difficult to, to do. So I just had to add the, the skirt here. It's so hard to do, because uh, there's three different um, holes that you have to stick over the protrusions of the legs. And then all of the skirts, they always, they don't close up properly, but here we go. So this is Miss Krabappel's skirt. You can see there's her shirt. She always wears green and everything, and then like this beige shirt underneath. Then we've got, of course, her head. There we go right there, and again, another specialized head, so looks, looks pretty good here. She's got the, the hair. She's had the same hairdo for 26 years, and nobody gets older in The Simpsons. And here we go, she's got a picture of a guy she probably likes or wants to date or something like that. She's always wanting to date people. Uh, and then she has, of course, her coffee cup. Some type of, <laughs> something's in there. Uh, maybe water or something like that. But this is, uh, this is a really cool figure. Now our next figure is, who is this? Oh, this is, uh, uh, what's his name? Hans Momen, Momen, something like that. He's an old man who, who finds his way. It's interesting that they put him in this series all together because he's kind of popular, but not that, that popular. So here we go. They make him kind of short because he's kind of like a shorter old man. So they give him these like shorter, shorter legs here. It's just one piece, you know, it can't bend or anything. He's got the green pants, a lot of green here. And then he's got a, uh, it's like an old, you know, guy probably was younger in the 1920s or something. So he's got this white shirt and tie, probably used to dressing this way. Well, they really make him short here. And then they've got his head. Here we go. So look how old and kind of wrinkly he looks. He's got these huge glasses. Really cool looking head though. So this is funny. It's a voided driver's license. So he's too old to, or he probably can't see that well. So his driver's license, you can see is voided. It says Springfield on there, but they put a lot of detail in there. So he's holding this out. That doesn't stop him from driving, of course, uh, but he does have a voided driver's license. Now our next minifigure is, I saw a heart there. The only thing I know about hearts is, yes, this is Homer. Homer on a date night. So here we go, let's get his pants. It looks like these are his regular pants here because they're light blue. This is exactly what he wears into work every day. So we've got the light blue pants. Then we have, yep, it looks like he's dressed up. Ooh, dressed up nice, Homer. He's got a pink tie on. He's got this uh, blue kind of sports coat. Almost looks like a tux coat, look at that. With the lapel and everything. So then we've got, of course, the Homer head. And this Homer head looks uh, pretty cool. Look at that, he's got the hair on there. They make the Homer head look really, really good. So that is this. And then we've got one other thing. And I don't expect him to ever do this. It looks like a box of candies for March, hopefully. And this is a box of like um, heart, heart chocolates or whatever. So he and Marge are ready to go on a date night. Now our next blind bag is, looks like Lisa, Lisa Simpson right here. Oh no, we've got another dress that we have to put on. Well, let's show the legs first. So she, she's dressed up very nice in, in pink and everything. She's got her shoes. Looks like she's dressed up to, to go maybe with the pants. So maybe they're gonna go to the orchestra or something. But anyway, so we've got the pink shoes. Let's put on the skirt. So I put on the skirt here. You can see that it is like beveled all the way around. Again, these skirts are kind of tough, but looks like a, a nice little dress for Lisa Simpson. And then the head, this is one of the coolest specialized heads because they make it so that she has spikes all over on the head. So that looks perfect. And then we have a uh, little little bow there in her hair. And then last but not least, she has her, her cat, her cat here that she is holding and she loves this cat. They've had a few 
in The Simpsons over the years. So this is, and is it, is it Snowball? I can't remember the cat's name, I should. Uh, is it, is it Snowball? You have Santa's little helper for the dog, and then, I'm gonna say Snowball, but then one died, so then they had Snowball too. Anyway, so I think this is Snowball, the cat, and Lisa. Our next blind bag figure is, let's see, who is this? And, oh, look, it's Maggie. Maggie's a pretty simple figure because, so here is the, the body, and this is, she's even smaller, I think, than like, than Hans Bowman here. We'll, we can check that out in a sec. So here's Maggie, of course she is in her like little nighty, like like onesie or whatever. So it's kind of showing the legs right there. And Maggie, the only sound she makes throughout the entire series is a pacifier sound. I mean, and she probably like grunts a little bit here and there, but you can always hear the pacifier. And that's because she always has one, call it a binky or a pacifier or whatever. And she has the same hair as Lisa does, which is really cool. It's cool they went from two dimensions, made this into three dimensional hair here, spikes all over the place. Of course, here's her famous red binky, and of course, a blue bow in her hair. And then look who we have here. It is, it's Santa's little helper. So that is awesome. Santa's little helper is, they've had episodes where he's not a very smart dog and he is a smart dog and saves people in another episode and everything. So this is really cool that they have him with Maggie here. Let's see if I can get him on the same platform or something. But here is Maggie and Santa's little helper. Next we have, oh, Marge. You can see her head right here. Oh no, we have to put on another skirt. Well first let's check out the uh, Marge here. So, okay, so we've got the regular legs, you know, yellow legs. All right, now let's get the skirt on. We have success. The skirt or the dress is on. It's got this line all the way around. Now for all of the dresses, you're always gonna have this like little, you know, slit right there. So here we go, line all the way around and she's wearing gloves. Ooh, very classy. And of course, look at that, Marge. And we gotta zoom out to see all of her hair. Okay, now we have Marge with lipstick on. She's got these bright, bright eyes, or I'd say big eyes, bulging eyes, and then the hair. I love the hair. I love how the, the Simpsons, they have that in there. And then I think, okay, so this, she has two things, which is cool. This one I think is gonna be like her purse. And then we have the flowers that I finally put in her hand, just had to put it together. So this is a bouquet that Homer has given her, and she is, I guess they're gonna head out on a date. 